Let's install the brand new Stefly Canopy Flasher into the ASG29. Let's get to work. Let's make a quick unboxing. There is so much included in this kit. Um, of course, the canopy flasher, the connect box to connect it to the flarm. All the cables are included, even a switch with a fuse, and then the stencil and um, also a Stefly sticker. Very important that everything here on a glider is really symmetrical. So um, that's why we decided to also include a new yaw string. And so the first step is here to remove the old yaw string. Of course, you don't need to, but um, you can have it as an option here. To clean the canopy, it is very important that you take care what cleaning solvent you use. Um, for plexiglass, um, isopropanol is fine and also cleaning spirit is fine. In our case, we will use here isopropanol. And if you use something else like acetone or so, you can get micro cracks in the canopy and destroy this expensive canopy. So really take care of it. Take some time. <laughs> we use this yarn here and attach it on top of the vertical stabilizer and then in front as well. As you can see here, it is not really uh, perfect center line at the moment. You can um, just put it to the side as well. So now that's why we will measure from here to the canopy frame uh, so that we see that it's uh, in perfect center position. And you can also um, have a look into this line. Um, yeah, we can see that it's quite okay. Now we attach here the thread so that it can't move anymore. That we are able to open the canopy again. We just cut it here and here front as well. This simple trick with a stencil will help us a lot to attach the yaw string at the correct position and with the correct angle on the canopy. So now we check here if this fent flap here is blocked by the flasher or not. And then we will mark the position. Let's clean it with isopropanol from the inside the area where we will attach the canopy flasher. And now we will peel off the, this protection film for the double-sided 3M tape as well. And then you have one shot. Why not check that works? Is it okay? I would say yes. And then we need some Pressure. That looks great. Let's peel off the masking tape. So now the next step is to install the control box so that uh, the flam signal um, will enable the LED flasher in the air and so that it's not flashing on the ground. It will constantly flash um, but then um, if there is a warning other glider coming from the front side to your glider then the the frequency of the flashes will increase so that the other glider will get a better warning. Let's get to the cabling. We have this box we need to install it somewhere I will use velcro tape for this and then the second thing um, which we <laughs> will do first now is uh, to install the switch here. I would have the space up here or here but for the optics I think it's better to have it here because I have here some other switches as well. So we will install it somewhere here. Thank you. 
So this switch here also includes a 4 amps fuse. Um, that, that's why you don't need to have a extra, let's say, clicks on fuse or anything like this. Um, if you install the switch, that's all fine already. Then let's install it. It's time to connect all these cables. This is the power cable, which is coming from the um, switch here, which we installed in the panel. Then we have this flasher cable. And then this side here is connected to the flasher later on. Then on the other side, we have here the flam cable. And then we also included here a flam repeater so that you don't need an extra splitter. You can just use this one here and plug in, for example, here the air traffic display to the repeater. And then there is still one more option on this side. We also include here a USB charging port, the powerful charger so that you can connect your smartphone for charging here. In case you want to use this, it is highly recommended to also install a panel mounted USB charging port. We finished the installation of the Steefly Canopy Flasher. Now it's time to test it. There are two options available. The first one is to just switch on the device then you will get two short flashes. There the intensity is not as much as in the air. And then the second option is, especially if you have a power flam fusion device, um, then you can use the web application here and use the collision simulation. Then I can here select a scenario and now it's flashing and simulating a near miss um, with the other glider. A canopy flasher is a really an amazing safety feature, but of course it does not help in all the cases, but it's still as important as before to have a look outside of the cockpit, outside of the instrument panel during flight. Um, of course, in blue thermals or so, um, the intensity of all the canopy flashes available on the market, they have not enough brightness to really warn you in completely bright conditions. It only helps if you are flying below Cloud Street, if it's a little bit darker and so on. But even if there is one case when it helps, um, the money is invested well, so <laughs> I definitely um, can suggest to get a canopy flasher of any kind. We have developed this canopy flasher for more than two years now. Um, we wanted to have it smaller so that it won't block um, the visibility of the pilot or it only blocks such a tiny bit. The frequency of the flashes will reduce if the temperature is above 60 degrees Celsius so that it won't overheat. We have an aluminum heatsink for the best um, heat transfer, for the best cooling and so on. So we put a lot of effort to make really an amazing um, canopy flasher and with the green LEDs we found a very efficient and good visible color and LEDs for the eyes. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm now looking forward to fly this glider again with a new canopy flasher and also with the LS3. Um, so I hope we will include some footage from the air as well. And then I will see you next time. Cheers guys. Raging rivers Make the waters obey